<laughs> Wonderful. Praise God. This is your hour of divine laughter. You shall laugh last. And it's an unending laughter. And your laughter shall be full. Because you are going to see God do mighty great works in your, in your life. And you have no choice again that to rejoice from your inside. Hallelujah. This is actually the 20th day of our 70 days fasting and prayer. Wow. That is the 10th day of section 2. Wow. God is faithful. And if you have not joined us, I want you to join us, join us in this. Because there is no better way in the time we are living in than to give our lives to Christ and to live fasted and wonderful uh, praying lives. Okay, it is raining a little bit outside. That is the rain of favor. The rain, you can hear the sound, the rain of glory. That is, it's no longer just seeing a little bit drops of mercy. It's showers of God's blessings now that you begin to see and your life will move forward. I want you to realize this. God brought us to planet Earth to do good always to his creature, to his humanity. Whether we like it or not, God treasures every soul. It doesn't matter their religious divide. He is the creator of every human being you see on the surface of the earth. One thing we owe one another is love. And one thing we must do is we must do good always. It's a simple thing. If we love God, we must love ourselves and humanity. We must extend our hands of fellowship. So hatred should never be found in us. Bitterness should never be found in us. These are open doors and ladders to the devil. And this, these are things that reduce people essentially. We must know Galatians chapter 6 verse 2. He said, bear you one another's burden. Verse 6, re bakashoto sopreketeya. I pray for someone over there, every satanic distraction over your life, I command them to scatter and die. In the name of Jesus, every fly of darkness hovering around against your destiny, I command them to scatter and die in the name of Jesus. And every source of your stubborn problems, I command them to scatter and die in the name of Jesus. Every incursion of darkness over your life, I command them to scatter and die in the name of Jesus. And all your unrepentant enemies, I command them to somersault and die in the name of Jesus. I decree today, every source of your stubborn problems, every source of your stubborn problems, I command them to scatter and die in Jesus' name. I discovered something that the Lord has been dealing with me. Sometimes we pray against people that are doing things against us and the things. And most of the times, the ones doing them are backwards. They now motivate people with the spirit, cast a spell on them, cast a charm on them. They begin to turn, they turn their lives upside down to begin to work against you. See, if you are praying, you are praying against people working against you. But those ones who are doing it from behind, they are safe. So I'm praying that the source of all our stubborn problems today shall dry up in the name of Jesus. And the people they are using ignorantly, I deliver them from their hoods in the name of Jesus. Anyone using anyone, ignorantly against us. I command such ones to somersault and die and I release the people they are using ignorantly against us to be released from their hands in the name of Jesus. And I pray today, today, you that is looking at me right now, they have released these flies against you, denoting decay, staleness to your destiny. Today marks the end. And those ones that are releasing it, today marks their end. Praise God. So you must do good always. Do good always. That is what you owe humanity. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 8. He says, whatsoever good thing you do. He said, the same shall God reward unto you. That's the way it works. So he said, oh no man, nothing but love. The, the proof of Christianity the proof of 
living a spiritual life is how you relate with other people. I don't care how much you pray. I don't care how much you fast. I'm a man of prayer. I'm a man of fasting. I'm a man of the word. But all this is must translate in humbling you and bringing you to a place of loving God's creature. He said, what shall it profit a man to lose the whole world, to gain the whole world and lose his, uh, and, uh, and, uh, 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 to gain the whole world and lose his precious soul? In other words, God prefers a soul than the whole world. So if you don't honor those souls, you put them down, you use their weaknesses instead of helping them out of their weaknesses to destroy them. You are the one gossiping them. You are the one pushing them down. You are the one lying against them. You are the one cheating them. What then is your Christianity worth? Nothing. You are just a hypocrite. I pray we will not be hypocrites in the name of Jesus. Anything we do in Christian wise, the more we grow in God and the deeper we go in Him, translates to our relationship with humanity. That's the way it works. We don't need to compare ourselves with one another and push people down. That is the way of the world. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. He said, let's not compare ourselves with others and go into this ungodly competition. It is ungodly. It is not good. It destroys one. You see, God brought us here to cohabit. God brought us here to share love, love him, and love humanity. That is all. I don't care whatsoever you're doing, but if you can go on this premise, definitely, definitely, God will keep exempting you from all the woes of the earth, especially now that we're in the day of the Lord, that there is so much gloomy darkness all over the place. So much, Joel chapter 2 from verse 1 to verse 11, you can see that. Isaiah chapter 60, is so clear, I've dealt with all that. He said, arise and shout for your light has come. And verse 2 says, darkness shall cover the earth, gross darkness the people. In this time, it is serving God. And serving God is simple. Serving humanity, not cheating them. Praise God. Malachi chapter 4 verse 1 says, the earth burns like an oven. So the only way to accept yourself is to be in your own destiny space, in God's big picture. And what will you be doing? They are helping humanity, not competing with them. The, 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 this story about Eber Mutai, a 3,000 long distance runner from Kenya, really touches me. He was running, he was almost at the finishing line, almost, but he hasn't got it there. He got confused. He now got confused. What was happening to him? Nobody knew. But Ivan Fernandez, that was coming behind, running second place, had a chance to become the first, was shouting at him. He's a, uh, Ivan Fernandez is a Spanish guy shouting at him that he should move, he should move. But the Eber Mutai couldn't understand a dot in Spanish. So uh, he stayed there. But when Ivan Fernandez got to him and where he was, it would have been a rejoicing for him to run and become the first. He pushed, pushed Mutai, Eber, to come first. That is what living a christian life should be not competing not taking over people's property not taking over people's spouse not taking over what belongs to people and you're rejoicing that rejoicing will never work galatians chapter 6 verse 7 say be not deceived don't deceive don't deceive yourself be not deceived god is not mocked for whatsoever man soweth that shall he also reap that look at that ephesians chapter 6 verse 8 he said whatsoever good you do the same shall god do unto you so, Ivan Fernandez pushed a Bermutai to them preaching about him. His name is moving all over the world for that. Even when the, the press people rushed him and said, why did you do that? He said the race was for a Bermutai and we have to help him to win it. You see how life is. Don't go into this ungodly competition, comparing yourself with one another, pushing people down trying to take over their positions, trying to take over what belongs to them. Beloved Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 11, he said, He that takes what is not his right, says he shall die and leave it, and he shall end like a fool. So don't, don't just be myopic. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 8 makes it so clear. He said, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Job chapter 8 verse 7 said, Though your beginning was small, but your later end shall greatly increase. As you keep doing good, God will be increasing you. That's the way it works. Don't keep grabbing what belongs to another. 
you go in the politics of this day, in offices and all that. There is this satanic thing, and most of these people go to church. They give arms to church. Your arms, you can't bribe God. You can't bribe God. Obedience is what God wants. Obedience is better than sacrifice. God said in clear times to King Saul. So if you are there, slandering one another and all that, you will end badly. That's the way it works. Beloved, I pray today that your life will be to be doing good. You are there taking the money that is meant for the hospital, money that is meant for the schools, money that is meant to help humanity, to build roads. People are having accidents on those roads and they are dying. Their blood is on your head. People are dying in the hospitals. Their blood is on your head. There is shabby schooling all over the world, especially in the African countries. And so people are pocketing the money, taking them to Western countries. Their blood is on your head. So don't think that you use it to buy houses all over the world. You are free. No, you're not free. You have caged yourself. And if your children uh, uh, begin to enjoy from that loot, then that is the same thing. They will be in trouble. That is the way it works. Hallelujah. Lamentation chapter 5 and 7. He said, our parents have sinned and they are gone. They are no more. But you are bearing the consequences of their sins. And I pray today that the Almighty God will touch your heart. The Almighty God will prick your heart. That you learn how to do good. That you learn how to bear one another's burden. He said, Those of you who are spiritual, when one is overtaken, help them to stand again. Galatians chapter 6, verse 1. Verse 2 said, Bear you one another's burden. Don't increase their burden, don't push them down. Do good always. That's what God wants. He said, Oh, no man, nothing but love. Any other thing you are doing is fake. Any other thing you are doing is fake. God loves his creature. Be part of God. Join hands with God. They must chapter 3, verse 3. He said, can two work together except they be agreed. It is so not sitting that you come to the church of God. You see people pulling themselves down, pastors pulling themselves down. Cut! And the rat race. What? What a devil. What a devil. You are a pastor. You are, you are in the same church and you are competing with one another. Or you are a pastor. You are, you are in different churches, maybe general verses of different churches are competing with one another. Man, that is ungodly. Just think about it today. If you die today, where will you go? Your preaching is competing, lying. If you die today, where will you go? Jesus is coming soon. We are in the day of the Lord. You can lie all I care, but be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever man sows, that shall he also reap. I pray today that God will help us prick our hearts that will go back to the nitty gritty and begin to grow in God and not to compete with one another and not to live a life impressing men and then we are zero with God. No, I pray that beginning from this hour that your life will have a turnaround, a turnaround, a turnaround for good, that our hearts will be keyed into God perfectly. Galileo Rakata Prade, Ephesians chapter 6 verse 6. He says, serving the Lord in our hearts, in a clear conscience, not what we think. We are serving our bellies, motivating people, speaking lies, to get money, to get acclamation, and to get one thing or the other. But at the end, where are you heading? Don't forget Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 11. He that takes what is not his or her right shall die and leave it and shall end like a fool. How do you want to end? How do you want to end? Most people are dead now. And even in death, they are more impactful to the living than those who are alive. The memory of the just, the Bible says, is blessed. Just think, when you leave this planet Earth, what will you be remembered for? Praise God. We are going to go into our prayers. But I want you first to say, Lord, I want to repent. I don't want to go the way of the world. I want to repent, Lord. I don't want to go the way of the world. Jesus, I repent before you. Go ahead and pray that prayer. I repent before you. Rigata prababu shoto ro brama hande re brabadeya. Uri brababu shoto so prekete se krababu shoto ro brabadeya. When the reporter asked Ivan Fernandez, why did you do this? He says, but why did you let the Kenya win? Ivan replied. I didn't let him win. He was going to win. The race was his. I won't take what is not mine. 
I won't take it. That's the way it works. But people will use opportunity to use other people's mistakes to take what is the other people's own. We are going to begin to pray now. Hallelujah. We are on day 10, section 2. That is day 20 overall. Hallelujah. And I begin to pray now. Enemy of my progress within and without. I have obtained the mercy of God. Therefore, die in shame in the name of Jesus. Every source of the enemies of my progress within and without, dry up and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' march, let them we pray. You, the powers, turning men upside down against me, turning things upside down against me, your end has come. Dry up and die in the name of Jesus. The things turned upside down against me. I command them to stand right side up in Jesus' name. By the mercy of God, I receive supernatural breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, by the mercy of God, I receive supernatural breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' march, let them we pray. Amen. Arrow of wickedness. Preventing my reign of mercy. Be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Arrow of wickedness. Preventing my reign of mercy. Or that will ever try to prevent my reign of mercy. Be destroyed by fire. In Jesus' march. Let's then we pray. Amen. By the mercy of God. Every valley in my life shall bring water in the name of jesus by the mercy of god every valley in my life shall bring water shall bring water shall bring water shall bring water in jesus march let's then we pray amen by the mercy of god i shall not see reproach i shall not see shame i shall not see disappointment in the name of jesus by the mercy of god i shall not see reproach i shall not see shame i shall not see disappointment in Jesus' march, let's now we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, give me comforting authority to enable me to achieve my goal. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, give me comforting authority to enable me to achieve my goal. Oh Lord, give me comforting authority to enable me to achieve my goal. In Jesus' march, let's our most powerful name. Amen. Inspiration of witchcraft in my family. Be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed, be destroyed, be destroyed. Inspiration of witchcraft in my family. Be destroyed in Jesus' matchless and most powerful name. Amen. All evil thoughts against me, Lord, turn them to good for me in the name of Jesus. All evil thoughts against me, Lord, turn them to good for me in Jesus' matchless name. We pray. Amen. You spirit of death and hell, you have no document in my life, therefore die in the name of Jesus. You spirit of death and hell, you have no document in my life, die now in the name of Jesus. Amen. My enemies will not catch me in any area of my life in the name of Jesus. You my enemies, you will never catch me in any area of my life in Jesus' march. Let's then we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, in any area of my life, let not my life disgrace you. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, in any area of my life, let not my life disgrace you. In Jesus' march, let's now we pray. Amen. I will not be a victim of failure and I will not bite my finger for any reason. In the name of Jesus, I will not be a victim of failure and I will not bite my finger for any reason. In the name of Jesus, I would never be a victim of failure. I would never be a victim of shame and reproach and backwardness. In the name of Jesus, and I will not bite my finger for any reason. In Jesus' much less and most powerful name, amen. I refuse to be a candidate of the spirit of amputation. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to be a candidate of the spirit of amputation. In Jesus' matchless name, amen. Every day of my life, I shall move to higher ground. In the name of Jesus, every day of my life, I shall move to higher ground. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray, amen. Every day of my life. I shall disgrace all my stubborn pursuers in the name of Jesus. Every day of my life, I shall disgrace all my stubborn pursuers in Jesus' matchless and most powerful name. 
Amen. Oh Lord, make me a power generator. In the name of Jesus, make me a power generator, Jehovah. In Jesus' march, let's then we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, let divine accuracy come into my life and operations. In the name of Jesus, let divine accuracy come into my life and operation. In Jesus' march, let's then we pray. Amen. Every false testimony against my life be exposed and be crushed. In the name of Jesus, every false testimony against my life be exposed and be crushed. In Jesus' marvelous and most powerful name, amen. Every false testimony against my family line be exposed and be crushed. In the name of Jesus, every false testimony against the church of God, against the body of Christ, be crushed, be exposed and be crushed. In Jesus' marvelous name we pray, amen. Evil hands that have been working in the shadow of my downfall. Evil hands that have been working in the shadow for my downfall shall be used to raise me higher. In the name of Jesus, you evil hands working in the shadow for my downfall, you shall be used to, to raise me higher. Yes, begin to raise me higher now. In Jesus' name, you shall not succeed in your wickedness against me. In Jesus' march, let's name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord. Turn the curses of my enemies upon their heads. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, turn the curses of my enemies upon their heads. In Jesus' march, let them pray. Amen. Spirit of beating about the bush without making result. Release me and die. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of beating about the bush without making result. Release me and die. In Jesus' march, let them pray. Amen. Follow, follow spirit. Using my shadow to track me. Go blind and be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. You evil follow, follow spirit. You evil monitoring agent using my shadow to track me. Go blind and be paralyzed forever in the name of Jesus. Thou power of go slow in my life. Catch fire and die in the name of Jesus. That power of God's name in my life. Catch fire and die in Jesus' matchless and most powerful name. Spirit of thou shalt not shine. Die in my life and family in the name of Jesus. Spirit of thou shalt not shine. Die in Jesus' matchless name. Every load of darkness that will not allow me to succeed. Catch fire, you Lord of darkness that will not allow me to succeed. Catch fire, you owner of evil load in my life, in my family line, in the body of Christ. Come and carry your load now. In the name of Jesus, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load. In Jesus' march, let's then we pray. Every load of the wicked elders that has constituted evil on my head, Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Evil load of wicked elders that has constituted evil on my head. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Amen. Load of wicked elders residing in my body. Jump out and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Jump out and catch fire in Jesus' march. Let's now we pray. Every load of darkness. That will not allow me to succeed. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In Jesus' march, let's name we pray. Amen. Fire of God. Dry up all evil rivers, keeping the source of my problems. In the name of Jesus. Fire of God. Dry up all evil rivers, keeping the source of my problems. In Jesus' march, let's and most powerful name. Amen and amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for a wonderful time in your presence. Almighty God, continue to move us higher and higher and higher by your mighty high hand in the name of Jesus. And let every evil hand stretched against us, or that will ever be stretched against us, wither in the name of Jesus. And every source of our stubborn problems, every source of our battles and the powers behind our battles, let them dry up now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Continue to move us forward. Continue to show us your grace. Papa, let your grace be multiplied upon us to live holy and righteous with you, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Papa. Help us to be soul winners. Papa, soul winners, soul winners according to your own precepts in Jesus' matchless and most powerful name. Amen. Remember, it is loving God, loving people, touching lives positively, and serving our God. Hallelujah. I am Fresh Fire. We are missionaries 
on assignment, connecting the whole world with God's love and God's presence, preparing humanity for eternity with God. Thank you. Hello there. Are you worshipping with us for the first time? Congratulations. You are most welcome into this great gathering. This is no coincidence. We believe that your steps were ordered by God and He has a plan for you. You are now a candidate of God's revival. We are a generation called to worship the one true God. We do this in spirit and in truth, in kindness and in love, preaching and teaching the word of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Here, your mind will be renewed as we connect you to God's presence and you are now transformed into a giant of a strange order. Welcome home.